In this video I'm going to show you how to set up Amazon EC2 with Agile Load and you need to go to www.amazonec2 which will bring up this uh, this web page and either sign up for an account if you don't already have one or sign in like I'm doing here and go to the EC2 tab. We ultimately want to launch an instance but before we do we need to set up, secu set up security groups, IP addresses and key pairs. So let's set up a key pair now. A key pair is really a, a certificate which allows you to get the um, admin password for the in instance that you create. So you're not going to need to do that but do keep that file safe that's just downloaded there. And now we're going to go to Elastic IPs and create a new IP address. So we allocate ourselves a new IP address. There it is. If I wanted to allocate yet another one, I could do that with this button here. Finally, let's go to Security Groups, which is really firewalls. We're going to create a new one and call it Injector Firewall. And what we're going to do is open up the port for, uh, for Agile Load. So we're going to create that now. There it is. And just go to Inbound Rules and put in 15140 which is the agile load port and so we can connect to it let's set up remote desktop protocol so that we can connect it to it using a, a remote desktop client that's done so now we have everything we need and we can launch an instance so just clicking on continue we're going to go to community AMIs and search for the agile load instance there it is, Agile Load, uh, always go for the latest date, uh, select it and we're going to use today just a small installation, that's the cheapest to run, for a larger test you might want to use a larger um, larger instance and we're going to use, uh, we have no preference on the, uh, the geography. So uh, let's give it a name, let's just call this uh, our European Injector and we have our certificate that we already set up, so we click on continue if I wanted to create a new one, if I'd forgotten at that point, I could do that there. And we have our uh, injector firewall that we want to use, and we launch the instance. So this is going to launch an Agile Load injector on the European data center for Amazon. So it's now launching. If we go to instances, we should see yellow ball to see it's pending. And let's just fast forward there until we see the both checks have run, and we can now right-click and connect. Let's download the shortcut file, which will download a, a terminal services client file. There it is. Click on it, and we'll just choose connect. Put in the password, which is agile load eight 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 with a capital A and capital L, and just click OK on those. Uh, on those, and then we are now launching into the desktop. So this is a desktop on the data center. In uh, in the Amazon so on the machine in the Amazon data center. So, just checking the Agile Load icon is running. There it is. We're now ready to go. So uh, I'm going to close this. And when you finish doing your load test, you want to close down your injectors. All you do is this: just right click and either stop or terminate them. If you terminate it, it stops charging you. Uh, so I'm just going to say yes, terminate. And it takes a little while, but we're just going to fast forward here. And there it is, it's terminated. So that's it. So don't forget to look at the video about using Agile Load in the cloud with Amazon EC2 if you want to know more. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much. I've been Adam Brown and see you at agileload.com. Thanks. Bye-bye.